Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, we are going to be talking about a Stormgate opening build order. If you guys don't know what Stormgate is, uh, it is a upcoming RTS. It's going to be an open beta when you see this video, and it's made by former Warcraft and Starcraft developers from Blizzard. X Blizzard. So this is going to be a game that's kind of in the same vein as StarCraft and WarCraft. And right now, when you're seeing this video, from February 5th to the 12th, it's going to be free to play on Steam for the open beta for Steam Fest. So if you're looking to check out a new RTS, you can check this one out for free. Just search Stormgate uh, open beta on Steam and you should be able to find it. And if you guys know anything about RTS games, you know that, uh, you know, when you're playing the one versus one mode, the opening, the build order is really important to succeeding in the game. You really want to have a good, clean build order uh, where you're doing everything on time and you're setting yourself up for success. Uh, now, it takes a while to get one of those, quite a long time for some people. And since I have participated in previous versions of Stormgate testing, I thought I would help you guys out by giving you a high level, uh, advanced, but simple build order, right? So basically, this is one of the best build orders that you're going to see this play test for Infernals. It's great in this meta. And once you know how it's done, it's actually pretty simple to do it. So we are going to show you uh, the build order here. I'm going to show you in an AI game right now what you should do. All right. So the first thing you want to do when the game starts is take two of your workers and pull them immediately. With the first worker, you are going to make the Conclave. This is going to be your range production unit, our uh, range production building. It's going to make a, a range unit called the Gaunt. And with the other imp, you're going to walk as far forward as you can, and you are going to make a uh, Iron Vault, which is going to make your melee units for this race. As soon as you make these two, you're going to rally them to the center and we don't make any workers until after we make the buildings, right? So after we make the buildings, we start making workers. The first worker, we're going to send on the gold. The second worker, we're going to send on the gas, okay? And we only need one worker on the gas. So after that, we're going to send the rest of our workers back to the gold. And that is basically uh, the hard part of the build order. Now, after that, we're just going to keep making our imps, our workers, whenever we can, we want a good economy. Now, next up comes when your conclave finishes, you're going to want to make the gaunt, the range unit, immediately. And it's going to start walking to the center of the map immediately. After you make the gaunt, make a supply depot, which is called a meat farm for this race. And now our focus is going to be on escorting our gaunt. Now with this gaunt, you can wait a little bit. What we're going to do is as soon as we get 150 gold, we're going to get this brute. And now we're going to start walking to the center of the map again. And this is the classic combination that we're going to fight in the center of the map with. Okay, one brute, one gaunt. And we want to go as fast as possible to kill this resource camp. And the reason is because the gaunt has something called infest. What infest does is it poisons the target that it auto attacks. And also when it dies, you get this fiend, which is a very strong zergling type unit. And the best part about this is whoever infests these creeps first will get the the uh, the fiend, the zergling, when it dies. And that's what makes this build very strong. Uh, if you can get to the center before your opponent, you are going to get to the fiend. Uh, you're going to get the fiend, the other guy is not. And you're going to have this snowball effect where you're not only killing all the camps, getting all the resources, every one of those camps gives you uh, 40 resources, but you're also getting a free unit on top of it. So this is basically what you want to do. And, you know, once you got 350 gold, usually I'll expand. And after that, you can also make some units if you want to. I recommend at least making a second gaunt as soon as you can with this build. Uh, but you can also make some extra brutes if you want to go aggressive. And after this point, what you want to do is pretty much up to you. You can go back to the and do the rest of these camps on the map if you want, if you don't want to be aggressive. If you do want to be aggressive, remember, you could have made all these units a bit earlier than I did. And you can poke into kind of the other guys natural if they're expanding greedily. At this point, normally, you're going to have more units than them because you got all these free fiends from the camps. So usually, you're going to be able to take a good fight on their natural here. Uh, maybe you can even win the game sometimes if you play it really well. But if not, you can, you know, pick off stuff, get a bigger lead. Uh, but 
if you poke in, you see they have a bunker or they have a bunch of stuff that you just don't want to fight into, then you can always back off, take the rest of the map, take the rest of the camps, and play on like normal, right? You can uh, add production buildings, you can go tech into tier 2, you can do whatever you want at that point. You are set up for a success uh, because you already have so much of the resources on the map and yeah, that's about it. After that, you can feel free to explore the game, do whatever you want to do, uh, but that is a very solid opening build order for the Infernal Race, and it's uh, very commonly used at the highest rank in the ladder right now. All the Grandmasters, you know, a lot of them do use this type of build order. So, hope you guys enjoyed. That's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.